Hello Namblers and welcome back to Nam's Eatery. In this video, we're going to make some delicious birria nampanadas. Stuffed with a tender shredded beef, gooey mozzarella cheese, and I just can't get enough of that flavorful thick consomme that's got a kick of freshness from chopped cilantro. For the filling, we'll be using beef birria that has been adapted from Ali's amazing recipe at gimmesomeoven.com. I'll leave links below so you can be sure to follow and support her. You can grab my adapted recipe and so much more at namseatery.com. First, we're going to make the marinade by toasting our chilies that have been cored and seeded. Here we have ancho chilies, guajillo chilies, and chilies de arbol. Then, we're going to saute our onions, garlic, and tomatoes in a little bit of oil. A little caramelization definitely doesn't hurt. Neither does lightly seasoning our recipe at each step with salt and pepper. This gives us the extra ingredients of love, which definitely shines through in the finished product. We'll blend everything along with some beef stock, apple cider vinegar, ground cumin, dried oregano, and a pinch of ground cloves. Look how vibrant our sauce looks. You know this is going to turn out amazing. Next, let's sear our meat to add some of that delicious caramelized flavor from the browning, which we would otherwise miss out on if we just straight up stewed our meat. For this recipe, we'll be using beef chuck. You can also mix in short ribs, beef oxtail, or go traditional with lamb or goat meat. Here's a tip when searing and browning. I like to scrub the fawn with the meat as it's ready to flip. This adds extra color to the meat and keeps the bottom of the pan clean, preventing excess accumulation and burning of the fond, which can impart bitter burnt flavors, which we definitely don't want. You want to sear in batches and allow room for browning. You can do all this in the instant pot so you have less dishes to wash but you may find that a Dutch oven or pot will be more efficient at sauteing and searing. I must say, our meat is looking mighty fine. Once all our meat is browned on all sides, add the blended sauce along with more stock and a few bay leaves. Our pool party is looking great. Pressure cook on low for 45 minutes, followed by a quick release. And here it is. Oh my god, Becky, look at that beef! Namtastic! Like and subscribe if you love birria. And now it's time to get everybody out of the pool, but first, Let's check out how tender our beef is. Oh yeah, that is tender. Tenderoni. All right, once all the kids are out of the pool and those bay leaves have been discarded, all that's left to do is to shred that beef. Give it a fine shred and after you've taken a sample for, you know, quality control purposes, seasoned with salt and pepper, then allowed to cook completely before refrigerating. Then it's time to thicken that consomme sauce for dipping and smothering. Our nampanadas, that is. We'll be using tapioca starch to form a slurry. You can use my tapioca slurry formula on just about any liquid you want to thicken and have a glossy look. More details in the recipe at namseatery.com. The best tool to form a slurry will be your hand. Wait, that didn't sound right. Anyways, go ahead and whisk that into our consomme and heat over medium to high heat until thickened while stirring frequently. If you ever happen to scorch a sauce, then simply transfer it to a clean pot and avoid scraping up the burnt layer at the bottom of the pot. Look at our beautiful consomme sauce. This deep savory sauce is great on just about anything. The sauce will thicken as it cools. Season well with salt and pepper and serve immediately. Or 
cool in an ice bath for later service. Sauces thickened with tapioca can be frozen but will require reheating to smoothen out the sauce. Other starches such as cornstarch or flour aren't as robust as tapioca starch. A nice bath will quickly get us out of the temperature danger zone of 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Guess what time it is? Shot time. Shot o'clock. It is Nampanada time, baby. Here we'll be using Goya puff pastry empanada shells. These shells are easiest to handle when just slightly thawed. Wet the rim with some cold water and add two triangles of sliced mozzarella cheese. Then, Add a generous tablespoon of our shredded birria meat. Be sure not to overstuff or the empanadas may burst during cooking. Give it a firm seal using an empanada press or by crimping with a fork. Oh, my babies. Nampanada time continues. Freeze or cook immediately. The best thing is that you can conveniently cook these delicious Nampanadas directly from frozen. Preheat your frying oil or oven to 375. If baking, don't forget to centrally Brush them with egg wash. It'll take about 6 minutes frying or 20 minutes baking till they're golden brown and delicious. I like mine extra crispy. And would you look at that. Birria Nampanadas. So good. Serve them up with a warmed thick consomme sauce and chopped cilantro. And here comes the money shot. How gorgeous is that? You're going to love these Nampanadas. Alright Namblers, I hope you liked this recipe and picked up some kitchen hacks along the way. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.